Alrighty, let's take a look at the whole thing here. Some cool poses there. Whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I think generally it's a cool idea. I would just change the setting. Now, again, this might all be very subjective, but here are my thoughts. Um, Matterhorn over here <laughs> is a bit strange, mainly... I'm just not a massive fan of those type of textures. So, A, there's a bit of a scale issue. It seems like a weirdly far away rock and you're maybe high on something close to this mountain. But it has those realistic textures with specific lighting and color that's not represented here with another different backgrounds with very busy textures and then the simplified look of this rig. Um, so just visually, I'm not a massive fan of it. Here it gets okay, but I, again, I will just keep it in style with this. Um, and it's just this character with the perspective that's weird and the model and the textures. I'm just personally not a fan. I don't think it works as well as it could. Um, and then this comes out of nowhere where I think it's fun to animate, but within the environment doesn't quite make sense. You could argue I shouldn't be this picky and that's absolutely valid. Um, my thought would be, what if we just change this environment to let's say a uh, like a circus area? So. I will personally zoom out a bit with the camera or just translate back a bit so there's a bit more room. We are a bit edgy. I mean, you could just tilt down so the character is here. And then when this happens, it's not like we need, you know, he can, you can have him always land wherever. Um, so, so I don't mind seeing this much of the character. So you might just be okay just tilting down so that the head is here. You want to think about your... So my, my crappy thirds here, but you know, maybe like the head is around here and that gives us just enough empty space there. And then what I would do personally, if imagine this is a circus place. So horizon line is a bit higher. Obviously he's, imagine he's just the guest there. Um, and then you could have almost kind of a, a grid like, uh, you know, floor type of thing. And maybe they have different colors. Maybe, maybe it's just for this area. Um, and then you could have a little bit of a, st a stand back there with balloons. It's almost like a carnival type of thing. And then maybe back there you would you would have a, um, again, it could be a structure. It could be like a circus tent or something that just fits that environment. But I would just keep it with simple geometry shapes. You know, and then back there, again, you could have just a, I don't know. It could be one of those things where, you know, someone is hammering things so just little structures that give us an, an interesting set and then that way when this falls you can always have i understand that rocks just kind of fall because that's the environment um and it's a bit tricky here but you can you can then just make this like an exaggerated like imagine it's like a big boxing glove or just a colorful glove with you know, like a little spring there. And it's just, that's just part of the ride that, that he's on. And you got two of these. It comes down left. It comes down right. You know, and that just makes sense. With, it's a silly glove because we are in a, in this uh, circus type of thing. And in that way, this could make more sense. And again, it's, you know, if you imagine you got your, your squares in your environment, this would be just be a square version of it, but you can still have this. And if confetti come out if you want, and he goes up and then lands somewhere on, on whatever circus structure there is. And maybe you can even have that circus tent. And as it lands, kind of boom, goes up a bit, a little bit of a lattice. You can have a bit of a, an influence on that surface. but Or maybe not. Maybe it's so tight that he just bam, 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 you know, lands and then slides down. Maybe it's the whole slide down type of thing. That is for me the idea in terms of just environment, which is to me the biggest thing. Because other than that, I like your, whoa, your expressions there. This seems like you have that potentially based on reference, because there's some interesting mechanics here with this. But I think the poses are really nice. They're very clear in terms of, um, you know, silhouette at all times. 
this aspect here and I like that he gets back into whoa what was that and maybe we can untwin this a bit and then he sees this and he has that immediate reaction back which again i like that moment through there and i like that we have a change in 180 he's facing us and he's facing away from us and i like that he goes Whew, what is that with you and maybe what what you could do is since if you change this, let's pretend you're changing this to the circus environment, which again, you can do whatever you want to. Well, after it's down here, whew, it has that reaction. I will probably have a little bit of a... It's here, and then I'll probably hold this for 10, 15 more frames. He just is a bit more reluctant, waits a bit, and then, and then he starts smiling. And all of this is like a big laugh, a bit of a chuckle up and down, like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, this environment is silly. They almost got me. Pew! And then you have that moment. And I think you could probably... This... Push this pose a bit. Um, that flattening. I don't know if you want a foot roll right there, but I would probably not have a foot roll here. He would be really flattened. So he go from here... I don't know, he would go down. So to me, he would be here. In the next frame, the head would be up here. And the legs would be squashed. And he, uh, there's a bad pose there. But, you know, fingers are like, what's going on? Through here, the body could be then really squashed. Uh, the face, like a really big expression of, ah! And then, phew, And then here, you can then have a, phew, That pose. But I would probably already have this here. Uh, you know, the legs and really stretched out and then exit. I think that might just be enough. Maybe that's okay. You might not have to ease out of the the frame. It could just be a really snappy pops. We can play with that timing a bit. I think the ending is cool. If you have... See, this seems pretty straight up. So be careful with straight up and then having this type of thing. Um, so maybe you can have a little bit of, you know, also just for interest visually, maybe that whole thing is actually like this. Maybe that's too much because that would get him behind here, but just add the slight, slight angle, you know, so it's not, so it's not straight like this, but it's just as a slight angle, it gives us a bit more interest. And then also when the thing comes back, it will be doing this way, orange, this way, you know, that type of thing of a bit more interesting settle. So it's not just in one axis up and down, it gives it a bit more complexity and that gives him a bit somewhere to go in terms of an arc. And because of that momentum, this way, go, poof, and then you go doom, 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 or do the whole slide thing or whatever you want to do, depending on the structure. Um, yeah, but that's kind of it. So big fan of the poses i think the idea is fun and that has a fun surprise ending um i would just personally set that in the environment that feels a bit more appropriate where it makes, it makes more sense um but that's just me sometimes i'm a bit of a stickler about that and that's it all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you